Welcome! In this video, we're going to cover the basics of Entity Relationship Diagrams, or ERDs. These diagrams are the building blocks of database design, helping us see how data connects together. So, what exactly is an ERD? An ERD is a diagram that shows the relationships between different pieces of data. Think of it as a map for organizing and planning how information will be stored in a database. It reduces confusion, eliminates redundancy, and makes everything clearer. The first building block is an entity. An entity is simply an object or concept we want to track information about. For example, a student, a course, or a teacher. In an ER diagram, entities are typically shown as rectangles. Next, we have attributes. Attributes describe the details of an entity. For example, a student might have a name, an ID, and an email address. In chin notation, attributes are drawn as ovals connected to the entity rectangle. In crow's foot notation, attributes are usually listed directly inside the entity box instead of being drawn separately. Entities connect through relationships. A relationship describes how two entities are linked. For example, a student enrolls in a course. In Chin notation, relationships are drawn as diamonds. In Crow's foot notation, we often skip the diamond and use a simple line with symbols at the ends to show the type of relationship. Cardinality describes how many entities can be connected in a relationship. One-to-one -one means a single entity is linked to only one other entity, like one person with one passport. One-to-many means one entity can link to many others, such as a teacher having many students. Many-to-many -many means both sides can connect to many, like students and courses. In Chin notation, these are labeled with numbers near the line. In crow's foot notation, we use symbols, a straight line for one and a three-pronged fork or a crow's foot for many. Constraints are the rules that define what's valid in our data model. For example, every course must have at least one teacher or every student must have a unique ID. These rules keep the database accurate and consistent. Chin notation gives us a very visual breakdown with rectangles, ovals, and diamonds. It's useful for teaching and learning. Crow's foot notation is more compact with attributes inside the entities and symbols on the connected lines. It's the standard you see most often in professional database design tools. Now, before we wrap up, let's take a look at the symbols used for both notations. In Chin Notation, entities are rectangles, attributes are ovals, relationships are diamonds. Cardinality is shown with numbers or words near the lines. In Crow's Foot Notation, entities are rectangles that contain both entity name and its attributes. Relationships are simple lines without diamonds. Cardinality is shown with line endings. A straight line means one. A crow's foot symbol means many. A circle means zero or optional. Chin notation gives a detailed visual breakdown while crow's foot notation is cleaner and more compact. That's why crow's foot is more commonly used in practice. So let's recap. An ERD is built from entities, attributes, relationships, and constraints. Chin notation uses rectangles, ovals, and diamonds, while crow's foot uses simple boxes and line symbols. Both show cardinality, one-to-one, -one, one to many, and many to many. Together, these give the foundation for building strong and clear database designs. In future assignments, you'll begin to use these notation styles for understanding how a particular data model is laid out and its internal relationships. So please watch this again if you have any questions or get confused. That's it for this quick overview of ERDs. Now you're ready to start reading and building your own diagrams.